This is a technique for creating instant glamour glow skin that's been used and overused for years and years, but there are times when you just can't do without it for adding that extra little bit of pop to the colours and to the saturations of your images. What we need to do first of all is to take a copy of our existing layer. Our model Joy here is looking quite nicely put together and made up, but we're now going to add a touch of glamour by fooling around with blending modes and with blurring. Now I've got this new layer which I'll name Glamour Layer. Glamour Layer. I am eccentric after all. And I'll change the blending mode to Overlay. We can in fact use a few other blending modes like Soft Light or even Screen depending on the situation and it will give you equally good results so just play around with that yourself. But now we really hit it with the Glamour. We go to Filter, Blur, and we choose Gaussian Blur. Now I'll just drag over my Gaussian Blur dialog here and I'll just zoom out so we can see what it looks like. Now you want to have enough pixel blur so that the main image is really quite diffuse in the way it looks and as you can see here it gives that ethereal sort of glow and it really super saturates the colors. If you go for a lower level it's not quite as effective in my opinion so you really want to punch it up pretty high, evaluate the image as you're dragging. If you go up too high, well, it sort of loses everything. It might still be all right for a sort of a, a glow effect, but if you want something that's just a little bit more glamour where you retain some of the shadows, you really need to keep it somewhere where it starts to get very blurry but still be identifiable. Now, I'm happy with the setting of about this, but you find a setting you like and stick with it and say OK. Now, you've punched up everything here, you've got lots of super saturated colours, but you also tend to have all of your shadows go very, very dark. So you might want to add in at this point a layer mask, and with your layer mask active, take a brush, get it nice, big and soft. I'll just punch up the size a bit, make sure it's nice and soft, and just paint on your layer mask the areas that you prefer not to have glamorized. I'll just turn off my menu there for a second. So I recover some of those deep shadows which I didn't really want to have. Now it's looking quite nice. Now as I said you can fool around with the blending modes. Overlay, very effective. Soft light, a little more subtle. Screen can give you some interesting effects as well, particularly when you couple that with some opacity controls. You can really get a nice fine effect on the skin to make it very porcelain, especially if you combine this with some later colour controls. I'm going to stick with overlay for this and put it back to 100%. And as a final touch, if you find that the colour saturation is just that little bit too much, add in one more adjustment layer. Throw in a hue saturation layer and simply pull down the saturation a little bit. Desaturate a little bit and you get a very nice effect. You can also fill around with the hue of course. Say OK. And so here's our before and after. It's really quite an effective way of glamorizing the image. Now I'll just turn off these two layers and I'll show you the automated Photoshop way of doing it. I'll make a copy and I'll call this diffuse glow. This is a Photoshop filter. It can be very effective if it's used carefully. Now you'll find this underneath the filter menu and I'll just go to the filter gallery which is quite big and it's underneath the distort menus. And I'll just shrink this down a little bit so you can see what this looks like. Now this looks a bit wacky at the moment because of the colors that are currently in use. I'll just cancel here for a moment. Diffuse Glow depends entirely on the colors that are in your color picker. So set them back to the defaults of black and white. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery once again, and now everything should look pretty much the way it's supposed to be. I'll just put this back down to 25% so we can see. And as you can see, it adds glow. You can control graininess if you want to add in some extra grain to it, which I don't, so I'll just pull all the grain out. The glow amount, you can control by gently pulling on the slider, you can just about wash the thing out completely, or just add in a subtle amount of glow. 
and the clear amount is the fine tuning control. This works almost a bit like a mid tone slider in levels, but to control and restrict the glow. So pull it up and you restrict the highlight glow more and more. You'll have to figure out a balance between glow amount and clear amount to something that you're satisfied with and say OK. Now I find the effect of this, it depends on the image, it can look great and it can also look just too washed out. Now if that's the case, if it's too washed out, don't be afraid to play with opacity to tone it down. Also don't be afraid of playing with blending modes, particularly things like soft light, which will then punch up the colours a little bit, or even hard light, which will give an extreme glow and extreme colour shift, almost like overlay mode. Then you can just fool around with the opacity slider and just like with our glamour layer you can add a hue and saturation layer and desaturate it slightly and mask out areas that you don't want to have glamorized that's it get out there and get those pictures in full glamour